All right. Uh, hello, Jacob. Uh, can you tell me a little bit what we're doing here? I see there's a lot of cars running around. Mm -hmm. uh, so the cars we see here, they've been built to be very similar to a real car when it comes to the software. So we use it for uh, research on uh, the system and software architecture of vehicles primarily. So they run the same software standards, they have the same kind of uh, hardware as a real car and we use it to try to extend that and see what it can be in the future. So can you tell me a little bit what they're doing? So, so in this example we see here, uh, it's taken from the construction equipment domain. So you should think of the cars now as uh, haulers or dumpers that run in a quarry. That's where you produce, uh, uh, from stones you produce uh, gravel and other kinds of uh, smaller stones basically. So in this case you see two haulers or two cars that go from a loading spot where you see the little wheel loader and then it goes to uh, an unloading spot and you should then think that it unloads its material there. And this is an example we've taken from a real project where we work on autonomous driving of, of haulers uh, together with Volvo and we've implemented now the same functionality in this. So, so the vehicles they are driving autonomously based on position following a track that has been specified on a map and, and they do this re repeatedly and synchronize their movement to each other. That's really cool and it uh, looks really amazing, but uh, how, what does, what's the applications in the real world? What, uh, for us who don't understand mm -hmm. the, sp the specifics? Mm -hmm. so, so the applications, it's basically to be able to drive these kind of vehicles uh, without people on board them. And uh, that's relevant both for ordinary cars, you can just ride along without driving and, and there is very much hype around that at the moment, but it's also important in production processes like in constru construction equipment because then you can uh, run the operations all day long without having drivers uh, which saves a lot of money and can improve efficiency. Uh, Jacob can you tell me a little bit what you do at SIX? Uh, yeah. yeah. So in this group, uh, the Software and Systems Engineering Laboratory, we're primarily interested in how to build complex systems uh, using the technology that comes with the, the digitalization of society. So this has to do with how we can connect different systems to each other, how we can connect systems in different products to each other. So in this example, the two vehicles, how they can communicate with each other and the two cloud services and similar things. So it's basically about building complex systems in an in a, in efficient and, and a, uh, reliable way.